Hello, uh, today I'll be starting a small video series on Xcode. Uh, it'll be focused on Xcode itself and not really any particular programming language that you can use in it. Although for most of the examples I'll probably be using C or C++ and try and perhaps uh, squeeze in Objective-C1 wherever I can. Uh, today's uh, video will not really focus on any of Xcode's features but more uh, the reason for doing the videos and uh, the basis uh, for the start of the series which would be documentation. Uh, the reason for starting the videos is that uh, I've noticed that there's a fairly large demographic of users that have a fair amount of programming experience but not specifically on uh, OS X or with Xcode. Uh, they've uh, used Windows or Linux uh, IDEs like uh, Visual Studio or Codeblocks and kind of got this ingrained idea of what an IDE should be and should do and if problem X comes up you can go to solution Y and uh, sometimes that doesn't work on uh, Xcode and, uh, and I've noticed that these users usually uh, think that it's the, the product's fault and, and most of the time it's not. Xcode is, is a very good IDE. Um, I would say that as far as free IDEs goes it's probably one of the best and I know some people argue whether it's free or not because you have to have an Apple computer but you know the point is you don't have to pay to get Xcode and, and it's certainly in my opinion better than something like code blocks but um, I guess that's just an opinion. Um, the first part of this uh, video will be focusing on documentation. Oh, uh, before I go there, if there's anything specifically you would like to see please do send me a message or video response. Uh, the, hardest, the hardest part for me is to figure out what you know to make uh, videos on. I'm not sure what people want to see, what they're struggling with, so if you can help me out there I'd really appreciate that. And lastly, um, the mouse click and the keystrokes of the keyboard uh, come through very uh, loudly on the microphone, and I do apologize for that. I'll try and filter it out, but uh, if it's an inconvenience, I do apologize. <clears throat> the reason for starting uh, the series off with something as bland as documentation is twofold. The first is I think that uh, people are too quickly to default to hitting a forum or going on IRC or uh, you know just trying to Google for an answer um, while I think that you know you will probably find the answer there and uh, in some instances it's a good idea I think people need to you know try and resolve back to documentation um, because I think if you find the solution in documentation it gives you a, a lot broader and stronger base to why the problem happened in the first place and not just a solution to a specific problem and uh, secondly, the reason I, th I want to do documentation is first is that I want to give you this resource that you can use. Um, I won't be able to make videos, you know, on a daily or weekly basis all the time. You know, I got other stuff to do, so I don't want you waiting for a specific video. If there's this great resource that you can go to, but you just didn't know about it, so I want to show you where you can, you know, find some stuff on on Xcode and you know Apple software in general. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> Apple developer site is is filled with great uh, documentation. Um, the easiest way to get to it is if you go to Google and just type in Apple developer. Uh, it'll come up first but the URL is developer.apple.com. If you go to the Mac Development Center and go to the OS X uh, reference library, uh, on this left you'll see a bunch of buttons. Um, the third one down in resource types is guides. Um, here you will find pretty much whatever you would like to find out about uh, Xcode. If you want to find out how to make a, let's say, OpenGL, I'll, OpenGL uh, stuff. If we're going to go to OpenGL uh, programming guide, it'll open it up, and it's it's fairly nice. You know, it's got this uh, table of contents here on, on the left, and you know, it's fairly well written. On the bottom, you have a little tree that you can traverse back easily. Um, but one of the best features for me personally is this button at the top that says PDF. You can click that and it'll open up as the, the entire document as one PDF and you can save that to your local disk um, you know for offline browsing or if you don't want to you know go through the the, the 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 developer website constantly so that's fairly nice. Um, and lastly I want to show you too that this all is accessible from within Xcode if you go to the Xcode help and then say Xcode help there, uh, you can do the same search here if you want to learn about frameworks. 
it'll pop up and it's fairly the it's pretty much the same format as uh, on the web based I prefer doing the the web based solution just because you know I can use it as a general web browser as well but it has pretty much the same thing you can set get it as PDF and save it and that's pretty nice um, so you can pretty much learn anything you want about uh, using Xcode the documentation is pretty complete and concise they have working examples there's sample source code I mean it's 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 a very nice uh, resource that I find that a lot of people don't even know about and some people know about it and just don't utilize it because they probably don't know how great it is so uh, I hope this will help you at least get started and hold you off till I, I make the first video I uh, appreciate you guys for watching and uh, please let me know what you think see you guys later bye